ましょう機体の整備はパッチリです皆さん頑張ってくださいね Hello everyone, this is NinjaGuy underscore 12 here bringing you the Gunnam Unit 4. Uh, I know I already made a commentary on this once, but um, not pe many people watched that one, so I figured I might as well just have another one since I had a, another great match for this thing. And even more funny as well, if you can't tell by the team comp, there is two Unit 4 BSTs or boosters. So, yeah, I'm in the regular Unit 4, and then, uh, my buddy is, or he's in one of the, uh, Unit 4s, and the other one is just some rando. And we do really well. We were just having a bunch of giggles between me and my buddy here. <clears throat> but, um, Unit 4, uh, if you guys haven't seen that commentary, uh, it's, like, the kind of colors I have for it are based on the Crossbone Gunnam X2 colors. If I have an image of it, uh, I will put it up. I will try to. I remember. But if I don't, then I'm sorry. <coughs> um, it's still a great color scheme. I mean, it does work. Though, um, I kind of wish the paint layout for the unit 4 and 5, same thing with the boosters, because I actually have those now, um, are a bit better, because as of right now, they aren't the best mapping. Because basically, all the red, or I guess, like in this case, Basically, all the purple are basically all connected on this suit. So, it's really hard to have separate colors for all that. So, it's unfortunate. <clears throat> but, um, this is still a great match, and I just enjoy using Unit 4 a lot. I mean, uh, in most situations, I prefer the Unit 4 over the Unit 5, but the Unit 5 is also still pretty fun, too. <clears throat> so, the, uh, gonna be Unit 4 is a 450. General level 1 could go up to level 4 at 600, and I know that because I actually just got the 600 cost recently. Uh, I have not taken it out in the match yet, so I have no idea how well that does in 600, but probably not that well, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> it is such a fun mobile suit, especially when you hit people with the dumb Mega Beam Launcher, because that thing just does ridiculous damage. <clears throat> like, most Rage will just suffer and they will hate you for the rest of your life. For you basically bullying the crap out of them. And I'm just using my unit for in a 500 point room, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, this is Mark II territory, unfortunately. But, I mean, I still don't do terrible. <clears throat> so, the Gunnam Unit 4, uh, in terms of weapons, is equipped with the fantastic Hyper Beam Rifle that does crap tons of damage. Or, you know, you could be that weird guy and use the Hyper Bazooka. Which. I feel is quite inadequate to the amount of damage you can do with your uh, beam rifle and plus like since you have the mega beam launcher you might as well have the beam rifle so then you just put on auxiliary generators and not have to worry about um, reloading your uh, bazooka and head mounted Vulcan because this thing technically has two uh, weapons that are beam types and then one bull ballistic. And the Ballistic is just the Vulcan, so yeah, not worth the quick loaders to be honest for a bazooka. Um, it has a Beam Saber Further Enhanced, which is different than the Beam Saber Enhanced, so if you guys care about that much, then go ahead, but <clears throat> um, not, it pretty much just has standard uh, Federation Swings, so nothing too special. Uh, it also has uh, a pair of Vulcans, like I mentioned before, as a sub-weapon, and you know, Vulcans will always be Vulcans. <laughs> basically good for picking off low health targets. I also have the, uh, basically the main point of the unit for the Mega Beam Launcher. Which, this thing, <laughs> is like a raid's worst nightmare. Especially if you're a pixie, because if you have a unit 4, and, you know, and it has all four firing programs and it's fully enhanced, 
I'm pretty sure you could one-shot Pixies with uh, the Mega Beam Launcher. So, um, yeah, it's not very much fun. <laughs> but I mean, just that's how the Mega Beam Launcher works. And it is somewhat balanced in the fact that if you have a shield or something, like, for some reason it will absorb it, even though I don't understand why it doesn't have piercing. Like, that's the one thing I'll never understand. Why does this thing not technically have piercing? Because it should be able to pierce right through the shield. But I guess they- I guess then it'd be too broken, I guess. <clears throat> and then the only other kind of weapon this thing has is the, uh, wrist, uh, beam gun, which does fairly decent damage. <clears throat> so, basically, this is a really- pretty much just a range suit, in all honesty. It's not really meant for close quarters combat, because it doesn't have very much, uh, melee mod to begin with. Basically, most of its stats go to the range part of the unit 4. So, if you want a little bit more rain, or melee, then you should just go with the new Unit 4 booster if you want a more balance between range and melee. And with that one, um, since I do have the Unit 4 BST finally, basically there are some differences, but um, I'm probably going to save that for the actual video on the Unit 4 BST. Same thing with the Unit 5 BST as well. So, hope you guys will look forward to those commentary videos in the future. <clears throat> but I can tell you now, really the only main difference uh, between the Unit 4 and the Unit 4 BST is just the fact that this one has a shield, the other one doesn't, if you just want to make that simple. Because I don't want to go really in depth, in depth about it. So, wait until that video comes out. <laughs> But the Unit 4 is still a great general, especially at 450, when you can just basically, you know, don't have to worry about Mark 2s, but even then, even at 500, I'm still, like, doing crap tons of damage to Mark 2s. But, <clears throat> I mean, I can I kind of understand, you know, everyone going with Bazooka meta, but at the same time, it's like, you're kind of wasting the whole point of the range strength on this mobile suit, like, that would the beam rifle what is what makes this suit good. <laughs> just use it. <laughs> I think it's a little bit more understandable on the Unit 5 and Unit 5 BST, but like, come on. Don't use the bazooka on this. It just upsets me when I see Unit 4 with the bazooka. It's so saddening. Because this beam rifle is so amazing. Though it is easy to overheat the beam rifle, so I think that might be a reason why people don't use it, because you could very easily overheat it if you're not careful. Uh, hit that Mark II. I think I broke its legs there. Yep, I broke it. <laughs> so, yeah, this, that, I feel bad for that Mark II. He was just kind of stuck. And then he's just gonna, you know, sit there. Kind of get in front of him. See, uh, buddy, like, you did not have to melee him. He was sitting right there, and you just decided to attack him for no reason. So, fuck you. Asshole. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, if you guys, you know, want to ask about my colors, I shouldn't mention this earlier, but if you guys want to know my colors or make any Gipio 2 requests, please make sure to leave them in the comments section down below, or in my Discord server, which the actual link to join my server is in the description down below. But otherwise, that is pretty much it, to be honest. I don't have much else to say about the Unit 4, it's just a fun general. So that is my match in the Gunman Unit 4 and these Crossbone Gunman X2 colors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and commentary, and I will see you guys later.